My name is Donald Driscoll and I am an editor. Probably the best way of uh, describing an editor is someone who just puts the story together. I think the best thing to, to do when you start a new edit is just like keep everything as clean as you can. Make sure everything has its place. So you, we'll say if you've got interview footage, make sure that's got its place. And as you then move into the actual edit, everything is so much easier to, to find and, and work with. And if there's something you want to change, you're very quick to find it. So um, like I studied film and TV production in, in college in St. John's in Cork. And um, when I was in third year, one of the lecturers came to me and he said that there was a gentleman looking for an editor, a Prentice editor. Um, I was about 23 at the time. And he said that what the man wanted was a three year commitment. And when you're 23, three years is a long time. You know, it's like nearly going back to college again. And I was coming out of college, so I didn't feel like I wanted to commit to that. I think A, if an opportunity comes up, definitely investigate it. And um, maybe even just like speak with the person that's running it. And if they are looking for a three year commitment or, or something similar, to, to maybe kind of see if you could do a month's work or two months work with them or something like that because at least that way you get to know if you like it or not and after I find after two months you'll you'll know for definite one way or the other and that can help you out in the long run as well you might decide you want to do something else in the industry. Um, the other thing that I learned from college it's 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 not about kind of what you know it's about who you know so as much as anything I think it's 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 kind of making the contacts making it doesn't necessarily have to be friendships through college it's just putting yourself out there and meeting people within the industry so if it's something you do want to do um, I would definitely say go to film festivals, go to workshops, um, go, to, go to uni obviously or go to, to college and um, you know speak with people and get to know people within the industry and that's usually I find the best way to get into it more than anything else. You could easily be shut off in your own room doing the work and, and you could be very good at what you do but if you're not speaking to people it's very hard to get out there and get into the, get into the business in the long run.